free that man. Alright, thanks. Free that man, Joe. Air condition the whole damn neighborhood. I don't see how I be moving, man. That motherfuckers really be, you know what I'm saying? Going crazy. A lot of uh, commenting on some shit. That was worth me commenting on, you know? I don't give a fuck with nobody talking about, like, you know what I'm saying? That, that's a real touching situation. When you got motherfuckers like. Motherfuckers who I came up with. We did a lot of we did a lot of going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't, I ain't even saying this shit like I don't brag and shit or it ain't shit I'm proud of, none no shit like that, so I don't get it fucked up. But bottom line is, you know, we went we went at it with with Latin Kings like a motherfucker when I was young and shit. But to me it wasn't even about it wasn't even about them being Latin Kings or none of that shit, cause I fuck with motherfuckers under the fin. You know what I'm saying? That ain't really my. I ain't into a motherfucker like that. I don't know gang bang shit. Y'all don't believe in what, what we believe in, so I can't fuck with y'all. Or... It ain't about none of that bullshit with me. It ain't even on no racist shit or none of that shit with me on my end. The motherfuckers seriously be. Fucking seriously be goddamn it. Taking this shit like it's supposed to be there for some odd reason on their end. Like me personally, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker ain't I ain't losing no sleep over none of this shit. You feel me? Motherfucker subscribe to my channel and check me out, see what I be doing. Like, I do the same shit every day. You know what I'm saying? I wake up 100, I go to sleep 100. Saying, stay in the studio doing motherfucking songs and shit. Damn, shorty, cute as hell. Thank you. Oh, this reminded me of my daughter. All I be on, man, is my money. You know what I'm saying? Get my money and fuck with my kids, making sure we straight. I can give a fuck about being in tour with a motherfucker. And that's we into it over some money. If we ain't into it over no money, what the fuck we into it for? Motherfuckers be kind, man, all type of goofy ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Super tough guys on the internet ass shit. We all know how that shit go. That's why motherfuckers be getting their ass smoked. I always want to be. Internet gangs. Wow, you really ain't gon' Damn, I done did. Damn, that shit. Hell yeah, super internet gangsters, man. Me first, like I say, I didn't I fuck with niggas now. Like it ain't it ain't like it used to be with me. I done got Latin King friends that I'm cool with. I done got Blackstone friends I'm cool with. Vice Lord friends I'm cool with. I don't give a fuck, you feel me? All the Latin folks, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. If you cool, you cool. If you getting money, you getting money. That's always a plus with me. Motherfuckers just don't understand, like, this, this world that we living in now. This shit ain't like it was in the 90s. The only motherfuckers you really real out here about in the city that's, goddamn it, really going hard on each other is the BDs and the folks. That might be a war that just won't never end. I don't, you know what I'm saying? That shit go deep. So I ain't in tour with none of the BDs, so I mean, that's, like I say, I mind my business on that shit, because I ain't in tour with motherfuckers. I got too much love out here from everybody for me to even be in tour with a motherfucker on some 
game bank and shit. It's only two motherfuckers in the world right now that if I see, it's on on the spot. I ain't going to say no names or none of that shit, but they know what's going on on the spot. Win, lose, or draw on the real. That's just what it is, you feel me? And they just so happen to be oppositions and shit, but it ain't on no game bank and shit. It's on some personal shit that, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers gonna get smoked, though. Yeah, that's just it. Same time, though. If I could change this shit, you know, motherfuckers would be united instead of divided. I mean, shit. I think we'll win better, you know what I'm saying, being as one. But motherfuckers will never, motherfuckers will never be united like that. So, I mean, I'm only one, I'm only one person. I could, I could talk that talk to my face blue. But that don't mean motherfuckers don't come together and really, you know what I'm saying, do what we supposed to do right here. Because if you think about it, it's strength in numbers. On the real. I know everybody know that. It's strength in numbers. But for a motherfucker to really change some shit, motherfuckers got to change they sales, you feel me? You can't change shit unless you change your own way of thinking and shit. How the fuck are you going to expect a motherfucker to follow your lead if your ass, you know what I'm saying, don't know where the fuck you going? You feel me? Now, one thing, man, like with me, I, I, I always did used to study the lit. Like, that was my thing. I want to know all the lit. So, shit, you know, I used to be on point studying that shit. Just so I know how to conduct myself when I move out here. You know what I'm saying? Cause I looked at I looked at that shit like you know I ain't ha- I ain't had a, the right discipline growing up you know what I'm saying I was rebellious you know what I'm saying cause I live in a situation and shit you know I was out in the streets and just so happened the right motherfuckers cuffed me you know what I'm saying and taught me shit and I paid attention to shit and that's how I know like motherfuckers nowadays man ain't really on that shit cause you can't tell a motherfucker nothing. Motherfuckers, don't, motherfuckers ain't gonna listen to it. But the right motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, come around and motherfucker kind of catch their eye, that motherfucker respect, and they, you know what I'm saying, think twice about it. Hey, let me check out, you know what I'm saying, what he's talking about and pay attention to listen. And you know, there ain't too many motherfuckers that got that type of effect on a lot of these young niggas. When I slide through, motherfuckers can tell like I'm I'm sharp with what I be talking about. So a lot of motherfuckers listen to me. So I can say like, you know, I got a little, I got a little, you know. What's the word I'm looking for? I got a little, you know what I'm saying, little, little, little status out here. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't enough to change the game. Shit, it ain't enough to change what's going on in these streets. It ain't enough to make these motherfuckers think like, man, United, we stand the battle. We've been falling all these fucking years. So, shit, let's straighten this shit up. It ain't enough to make motherfuckers understand that, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucking government ain't fuzz. I don't give a fuck how hard you try to come up and shit and think you're going to leave your people behind or none of that shit. Like, it ain't going to never work for you. Because eventually, you know what I'm saying, your ass gonna fall for something if you don't stand for it. If you don't stand for it. But man, this shit just, shit just crazy to me. On the real, motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, just, I don't think a motherfucker gonna ever understand. I mean, we living in 2020 right now. Shit came a long way from when I was a shorty, shit didn't change like a motherfucker. When I was a shorty, you know what I'm saying? I used to watch motherfuckers get into it and go hard over a cause or a reason. Not that motherfuckers didn't just, you know what I'm saying, weren't fucking with each other. Damn. She ain't got shorty will. 
But hell yeah, though, it's like, now motherfuckers are getting into it over some goofy shit. And go to war over some goofy shit, you know what I'm saying? And that goofy ass war lead to a long going ass war. And a lot of motherfuckers be losing, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers be getting smoked and all that shit. And it all fall back to it being over some goofy shit. My nephews and my son and shit, like, I try my best to kind of cuff them and, like, show them the way of how I was brought up, you know what I'm saying? Like, so a motherfucker don't fall into no, none of this new shit out here. Cause God damn it. This shit fucked up. And I don't care how, how much a motherfucker say, oh man, we run this shit. And blah, blah, blah. What you running? When you really think about it, what the fuck is we running out here? Everything owned by these motherfucking white people. We don't own shit. You know what I'm saying? The fuck is we really running? These motherfucking Latinos are just telling me, man, we run this shit from the south of the border to Canada. What the fuck is y'all running? Y'all got y'all little taco restaurants and shit. Same way niggas got their little, you know, little jerk restaurants and whatever the fuck. Clothes and stuff, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Man, ain't none of that shit no enough. Because bottom line is we don't own none of that shit. Whatever land your shit sitting on, if them motherfucking people want to come say, nah, we finna knock this shit down for some other shit here, you take this little couple little pennies for your shit and we, psh, your ass out of there. Ain't shit you can say about it. I don't give a fuck if it was your house. I don't give a fuck if you built that motherfucking house from the ground up. If you, if you don't own that land that that house sitting on, them motherfuckers could come tear your shit down any fucking time they feel like it. What you own? You feel me? What the fuck do you own if you can't, you can't tell a ass, man, hell no, nah, y'all ain't tearing down shit, here, here, let me pay you for this, and then this my shit, move around. If you can't do that, man, your ass don't own shit. You got motherfuckers who be thinking, let me turn this beat down, this some, uh, some shit I'm working on. Right here. Sitting out here, shit cold as ice. No, it ain't. I just pulled up. No, you didn't. You, when I went upstairs, you were sitting out here. No, I just pulled up. I thought that was my dad. You welcome. But yeah, this motherfucker's gonna be out here thinking. I mean, motherfuckers be having bright ideas and shit. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of that. I be having some bright ideas. But then bright ideas just be to get over. You feel me? I'm trying to find some some land I could buy. If I could buy some land, I won. At least some. I don't give a fuck about getting rich. You know what I'm saying? A dying train. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. My thing is to leave a legacy. I don't give a fuck about getting rich. I don't give a fuck about dying trying to get rich. I give a fuck about trying to build me a legacy. Something that I could pass down. You know what I'm saying? And hope. My motherfucking kids, uh, grandkids, uh, great grands, or somebody finally make it to where the fuck, you know what I'm saying, a motherfucker need to get to as far as re really owning this, some shit and being able to take our motherfucking wealth and riches to some fucking where they can make this shit count. As long as a motherfucker under this Federal Reserve shit, all these elite families and all this, as long as a motherfucker up under them, I mean, shit. Shit ain't gonna never be up. So I don't think like I used to. I don't think with that, man, all of my man, I'm, I, I'm gonna grab this ounce and I'm gonna flip that bitch up to a key and I'm gonna start me a motherfucker my own business on the drug trade and I ain't gonna never go to jail and get locked up for it or get robbed for it or get killed for it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't think like that no more. I swear to God, I used to. I ain't never think I'd work a real job in my life. I thought, shit, once I got them to learn how to bag up and cook coke, 
I thought it was over with. This my, this I'm an entrepreneur in that. This my way. Tax free money, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna get it. And I was getting busy. You feel me? I was getting busy, but got them at the end of all that shit. At the end of all that shit, man, all that shit was for nothing. Cause now I didn't, I didn't contribute it to fucking up my people. Even more, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't contribute it to this bullshit. But when I start thinking about this concept, man, and that's why I mean I don't give a fuck what nobody think about Larry or none of that shit. Just to pay attention to this concept and really study this shit and really real life like live by that shit to grow and develop as a force to be reckoned with for a motherfucker to really think about that shit and try to apply that shit into your everyday activities that's how I got I got as far as I did right now trying to think Bigger than the rest of these niggas out here thinking. It'd be nice when I can't go to sleep because my mind going so fast. Thoughts in and out of my shit. And all, you know what I'm saying? all my motherfucking thoughts be ways that I could try to, you know what I'm saying, advance and shit. How I got rapping, I don't know how the fuck I end up getting brought with this shit. I know my nigga Worry. Before he got killed, this nigga used to be the rapper. Rapping every day. We'd be in that bitch just hustling, getting money. Right? This nigga freestyling, going crazy all day, every day. I got so used to that shit after he got killed. Now I'm out here hustling and shit. And all I be thinking about while I'm out there getting busy was this nigga going crazy. Like, I be missing that shit. Next thing I knew, I picked up a little pen and some paper. And then... Uh, it's me trying to rap, trying to get damn it, put bars together and shit. Hey, Jam! Hey! My ass ain't here. What the fuck? I started getting colder and colder with that shit though. Like once I get, you know what I'm saying? Once I reach my peak. It's like, I'm like, okay, I guess I'm going on. So everywhere I go, doing shows and shit, putting videos out, motherfuckers be checking me out like, I know, what I'm, I know what I'm talking about. And I know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? How I put my shit together, be catchy. I come up with some little catchy little hooks. Anything I, I, I talk about, I could throw me a slick little message in there, something that could catch a motherfucker and make a motherfucker think. So this is my way of like, you know, using my voice. I ain't no motherfucking politician or no, you know what I'm saying? No motherfucker that's, no, I, I figured this my way. I put together some shit and tell my story and give motherfuckers something to think. At least something that, uh, you know what I'm saying, help elevate a motherfucker's way of thinking. So I always throw at least a slick little line in there somewhere. Well. I'm saying all that to say this, you know what I'm saying? Like, my mind then elevated to a place, man, that I ain't never know my shit was going to go until I really started paying attention to what was going on in the streets, to what was going on in the motherfucking world with this fucked up government, this fucked up police, you know what I'm saying? And I started thinking of, uh, about how fucked up this goddamn um, school system is. And, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of shit that made me think, like, my way through this shit was focused on growing and developing. On the real. Now I know everybody lit different. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't think the same for shit. And that's cool. But motherfuckers got to find their way. Cause it's a way we could do this shit, man, together. Instead of being so divided, man, you know what I'm saying? Whether you black or brown, I don't really give no fuck. Me, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm for the uplifting other people, man. You know what I'm saying? Black people. But I'm not. I'm not in. I'm not trying to engage in no being in tour with no Browns or no. You know what I'm saying? Latinos and shit. I ain't trying to engage in none of that shit. Unless it come to that point. Like, you know, I ain't gonna let no motherfucker get down on me. I'm gonna fuck who it is. It's been just a little, it's just been two months going on on this motherfucking internet shit. Since I've been talking and touching on that type of shit. Cause them motherfuckers was tweaking. And they all, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers always got down on, or tried, or tried to get down on niggas. I ain't gonna lie. It ain't never really work all the way out for them, you know what I'm saying? Like they thought it was. But right now to this day, if a motherfucker really, really got into it, it'll be fucked up for them people, boy, I'm telling you. But it'll go back and forth, you know, shit. It's easy for a motherfucker to try to slide through this bitch. First of all, motherfucker gonna be on your ass off back. Just cause you know what I'm saying, you, you, you motherfucker gonna look at you and know you ain't from around here, so motherfucker gonna be on you. Don't be a few cars deep and think y'all finna slide through this bitch and just chop this bitch down. It's too, it's, it's too much going on where motherfuckers on point on every block. That's what y'all see. I'm man, look, watching the shit out these mirrors. Slide through here, shit. It's definitely a hit. But all this shit be the reason why I stay trying to focus on getting the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Be at work or in the studio or somewhere where it's my place of peace. Real shit. I sit back, be, you know what I'm saying, sipping, get in my little zone, listen to little beats, get to writing my shit. God damn it. In my own little zone with it. Damn, is this mine? But hell yeah, man, that man right there. I kind of look like I could be related to that nigga, no. <laughs> I look like I could be a nephew or a little cousin or something, huh? My little everything the folks stand for. I ain't gonna lie. And a lot of these young motherfuckers don't understand that shit like, I know a lot of they ass probably don't pay attention to the history of this shit or really study, you know what I'm saying, the motherfucking literature behind this shit, man. But it's a lot of fucking knowledge in that shit, boy. Like, motherfuckers were smart as hell putting that shit together. Real shit. That shit like the Bible to me. A lot of knowledge in the Bible, but y'all already know, like, y'all know how that Bible shit, man, y'all, y'all, I ain't, I ain't gonna touch on, on that shit till you fuck with nobody beliefs and shit, but, it's a lot of that shit I just don't believe. But this shit here, yeah, I believe this shit, it ain't still me wrong yet, on the real. I just had to go through some trials and tribulations to get to this point of me being mature enough to really understand and focus and, you know, read between the lines and shit. On the real. If I'm putting together some shit, man, just so I want a motherfucker to know, like, a lot of motherfuckers will look at me and, and not know me and shit like that. And like, who, you know what I'm saying, who wanna listen to me? Type shit, you know what I'm saying? 
So I'm putting together some shit where I can put my story out there and motherfuckers can understand. Like, nigga, I went through a lot of shit to know this shit that I'm talking about. This shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't just go to sleep and wake up knowing this shit. I really paid attention and watch shit and get to understand and shit, you know what I'm saying? That's really how I got cuffed because I used to pay attention to everything the guys used to be saying. That's why a lot of motherfuckers saw me really learning and paying attention and the cuff me. Like, this nigga really want to know some shit. This nigga really, you know what I'm saying, trying to study and learn some shit. So. There's so many of the older guys that just, you know what I'm saying, that love me. And it's at the point where motherfuckers would be looking like, when I was a shorty, young as hell, I'm with all the older motherfuckers. The motherfuckers can't understand that shit like, how the fuck? So you with all these old niggas all the time? Yeah. Niggas put me on, on the real. So niggas my age though couldn't understand this. Like motherfuckers my age was still doing, you know, was still doing little immature shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was above that shit. On the real, now I'm shit. Eighth grade, freshman in high school. Man, shit, I wasn't doing that. Doing half of the shit these little niggas was doing that was my age. My girlfriends weren't even my age. Motherfuckers couldn't understand that shit. I think back on the shit now, like, damn, I was getting raped and molested and shit by these old ass bitches. I was fucking with all older bitches. 13 on up to goddamn it, 18. All my bitches was in their 20s, damn near, you know what I'm saying? Close to being 30 type shit. All of them. But I was so mature with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I used to be 100, tell them my, my age and shit. I had a bitch picking me up from school when I was in high school. My mama pulled up on me like, where you going, son? I'm finna go with her to her crib. And she looking at me, looking at her like, you know how, how old my son is? She like, yeah. That's cool with you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, shit. Went to her crib, got my, you know, situation situated. Smoke good, eat good, drink good. You know what I'm saying? Massage or whatever the fuck I was doing. I was a young player. <laughs> doing my shit. But the motherfucking chicks in my school couldn't figure it out. Like, what the fuck? Well, like, trying to understand, like, why I wasn't trying to fuck with them. Them bitches was not on my level I was on. 21, 22, 25, 28. All my bitches was in them ages and shit. And I'm 15, 16, 17. I pull up on the motherfucker around one of their cars or something back then. I'm like, uh, just couldn't understand how I was doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Paying attention, studying the game, learning game. Once I had the game, it was over with. On the real. And it's crazy because I be knowing motherfuckers my age now or older that still ain't got the game. They still out here doing the same shit that they was doing back then. Like, how? How the fuck can you not come up, to, uh, at least get, you know what I'm saying? No type of stability, you know what I'm saying? How the fuck you still out here selling $5 loud, loose squares? You know what I'm saying? A cop in a eight ball or trying to jug. Like, I don't understand niggas, man. Motherfuckers getting ounces of weed, selling weed, but then still be broke and shit. I don't know. I refuse to be that type of nigga. I'm a real. I used to be depressed when I couldn't figure out how to get no money or had to just, you know what I'm saying, settle for being broke. Like when I first got off the joint or some shit, I'm trying not to go back to the joint. I'm on parole and all this other shit. But trying to find a job, that shit wasn't working. Motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, I was getting temp service jobs and shit. I'd be working that shit for a little minute and then lay me off or some. I'm back and forth, up and down, no money. And I'm getting to my baby mama or some shit. Man, that shit was depressing and shit to me that I, I wasn't a breadwinner. Fuck that. I had to catch my route. 
I knew damn well that I was striving for success. I just didn't know what block to walk down, you feel me? Once I figured it out and I caught my route, man, I been on since. Now when I slide through the hood, motherfuckers in the hood still think I'm selling drugs. Still, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers still, still think I'm fucking around. I ain't on like that, you know what I mean? But I'm decent. I don't want for shit. I ain't begging for nothing. Got my own shit, do what I want to do. I mean, take care of my kids. My kids, they reaping all my benefits. These little niggas be fly as shit. I mean, I be fly, but I don't be fly. They, boy, look, they, they getting it. I'm working for them. They my boss. Both of my sons, these niggas be fly as hell. So when I get fly, I get fly probably to see if I... If I got a video shoot or something, let me go grab me some shit. Uh, if I'm going out somewhere, let me go grab me some, some some new shit. I got a whole closet full of shit that I don't even wear. I be so tired of this, seeing this shit in my closet. I end up giving this shit away to somebody who need it. This my old man. Yeah, no. Is that Pops? Oh, hell no. Anyway, let me get the fuck up off of here, man. Shit. I hope somebody listen to this shit that really, you know what I'm saying, get something from it. 